Hi, my name's Paul Crossman. I'm a tutor and course developer here at Point Blank, and I'd like to welcome you to this preview of the Ableton Live dubstep course that I've developed alongside Johnny Miller and Danny Lewis. Here's a preview of what you can expect. It's now time to prepare the basic arrangement for the track. So in preparation for this, I've created some scenes. So I've got the drums and piano as the start here, and then the different bases and uh, leads that are going to form the uh, the sort of complex bass line all set up together. I've also created a separate sub bass track here. And I'm also now going to uh, mute out the channels that contained the MIDI that we used to uh, create the resampling. So once I've done that, there's one other thing I want to do here, which is I'm going to add a reverb to the piano. Uh, with the idea that I can use this as like a dub effect. So I'm going to kind of do this live. So I'm just going to drag this onto the piano uh, like that. And, you know, I'm going to keep it sort of fairly, um, I think we're going to keep it sort of fairly stock to start with. But the one thing that I do want to do uh, is I want to assign MIDI control. So uh, I'm just going to go to uh, here and just click onto MIDI. Add onto this control. And... I'm just going to assign that to my mod wheel. So there we go. So let me just get about that back down to where roughly where I want it. I mean that that'll do sort of roughly around there. Okay, so now once we've done this, um let's just get in and record out the arrangement. Okay, once we're ready, let's record out the arrangement. I'm just going to put some of these in randomly. At the moment, I've got this set to quarter bar, so the all the changes are happening quite tightly. So I've just basically created a few bars of uh, the arrangement in here, and you can see that uh, it's always, always a bit sort of random. Uh, to be honest, as it went in, but really what I'm interested in is actually getting to the uh, getting the audio in like this, and then I can get into this, and uh, we can edit up the audio into what we want, which is what I'm going to do uh, in the next tutorial. 